Savia Wu is one of the giants in the field of gene therapy. Savio absolutely was one of the people that paved the way for what is now happening. Many of the principles that were developed in terms of how genes could be transferred into cells are what we use today. Well, Savio Wu is very um, open-minded, so really his uh, openness to any form of cancer gene therapy was very uh, remarkable. Savio is really the heartbeat of our organization. I'm Barbara Netter, and I am the president and co-founder of the Alliance for Cancer Gene Therapy. Around the year 2000, my husband Edward and I had lost our daughter-in-law to breast cancer. And just after that, it was as though the stars were aligned. When we met Dr. Savio Wu, Edward requested of Savio that they have lunch. And at this lunch, the concept of the alliance was formed. Gene therapy at the time was not in the best of light. It was kind of going through a difficult period in public perception of what this new technology can do or how risky it is and so on. So it is doubly heartwarming to see someone with a vision like Edwards and to come forward and say, I believe in this technology. I believe in this new science. I want to see it work and how can I help? We started really to develop by creating a board. Uh, we had founding members and Dr. Wu established our uh, Scientific Advisory Council with very esteemed and renowned scientists. The role of the Scientific Advisory Council is to help the foundation make good decisions about uh, research that they should support. When I received an invitation from Savio Wu, I was uh, elated and accepted right away. Dr. Wu came to New York City uh, a bit like a rock star. He was already famous for his work in gene therapy uh, at Baylor University and his recruitment at Mount Sinai attracted a lot of interest and enthusiasm around the city. I remember going to many of his lectures which drew audiences of thousands of people because he was so insightful in terms of how gene therapy was working. I think what Savio started, obviously there were bumps in the road, but what is happening now is going to have profound impact, certainly on infectious diseases and cancer, over the next five years, and I'm absolutely certain of that. We decided that what ACGT should do right off the gate is to have a young investigators program. These young investigators, once we help them develop, uh, hopefully they will develop into major investigators in the future years. And I'm so happy to see that after these 10, 12, 14 years, uh, the early young investigators that we funded are no longer so young anymore. <laughs> but many of them have developed into major investigators of their own right, in their own field, and making humongous our contributions to the field of cancer gene therapy. We started as a grassroots organization and now have progressed to the point where we are really well recognized and respected. Dr. Wu established the grant process and we have been able to give to date 44 grants in the amount of $25 million, so we're pretty proud of that. I think the most significant accomplishment is that we have a number of people whom they thought for sure would die and have been kept alive, certainly for a few years. So this is a time of hope. Just to think about these patients who have survived leukemia, just to think about it. Just to think about the future patients who have all kinds of different cancers might be able to survive because of the donations that we're making today. One of the hallmarks of um, Salvio's approach to steering this uh, council is openness. Um, he supported anything that was creative and grounded in good science. We decided from day one, we want to look for groundbreaking research. If we don't fund this kind of research that have great potential and great risk, then why are we here? Why are we here? Without Savio, there would not be an ACGT. If I had to describe Savio in one phrase, I would say, to me, he's a true Renaissance man. Certainly in science, his legacy is enormous. I think uh, he knows that all of us are very thankful for his stewardship. He accomplished the, the mission beyond what anyone could have hoped for. Uh, and he knows that those of us who know what he did will, will remember that forever.
I want to make sure that the mission of the ACGT will continue with Barbara at the helm and with Joe Glorioso at the helm of the council. We are all very excited about Joe. Joe knows the biotechs, he knows the culture of gene and cell therapy, and I think he has a good sense of what we need. You know, in science, as well as in any other things, we need new blood because new blood can bring in new ideas. When you change over the leadership, it gives us the opportunity to chase new approaches and have new strategies. Um, and I think that's what we'll see in the next few years in ACGT. What's next for me? I'm a big cheerleader. <laughs> I will miss someone who's been an incredibly important advisor. You know, I may still be calling him up. They have to call him on his cell, but we're not gonna let him go. Savio has been named the Chairman Emeritus, and we are so glad to have him with us on board. I feel very sentimental about him leaving, but he's left us with so much, and we need to go on. Other than my own research programs, I cannot think of anything else that I can be more proud of professionally. This is the one thing that I can always look back and that always brings a smile to my face.